Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm a bit late to the party. It must be what, a year, a year and a half maybe, since this bad boy came out. And this is me only just got one. So I'm going to just talk about what I think of this tent after one night and after just checking it over. Actually, after the first night, it all went in reverse. Normally I come in, tell you I've got a tent, take you through it bit by bit. I'm not going to do that. There's a million reviews on this now, but I will give you my take on it and exactly what I think about it, having used it once and having had a good look around it. So yeah, really late to the party, but um, I think it's been worthwhile. This, uh, the reason I bought this, this came about because I've been using a Lightwave S10 Sigma tent, which is 1.1 kilograms, self-standing. You've probably seen it in some videos. And I was going to use it, and I might still use it, on the Tour de Mont Blanc when I go for a few days. But I'm a bit jury's out. So I was looking at alternatives, and the XMID was one of the ones that's always been on my shopping list, but never bought. What I'll do initially is I'll show you some of the modifications I've done to it because as it comes out the packet, I think it needs a few bits and pieces added to it, which I only found out after I camped in it two nights ago. Yeah, just uh, I just applaud Dan Dustin for the design on this. I've designed three tents myself, as you may or may not know. But anyway, that goes back a few years. So it's great to see somebody probably in the same boat who's actually done the whole thing, got them out there and got them into production. As it stands and it comes out the packet, I felt once I'd pitched it and used it a night, it's missing a couple of wee bits and pieces. So I have added some parts to it. or just added some mods to it, I'll show you. I do like the small, compact stuff sack in terms of the packing size of the tent, though it is a wee bit of a problem to get it in when the tent is still attached inner and outer and you're trying to squeeze it in. But yeah, well done, Dan Dustin. I think you've really moved the game on with this tent. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have said the same thing, but it does make an awful lot of sense. There's a lot of depth of thought and lateral thinking has gone into it. So basically the bare bone shelter doesn't come with the additional guy out points on it. I've added some cord to some of these just to strengthen it up. Because my one concern about this tent is it's a big area to catch the wind. Um, and even though it might shed it relatively well, I still think it needs a bit of boosting. So I've added another one here. I've added another one round here, pegged that out just now, and I've added one round here. And as you can see, I've also created a couple of guy lines for these big panels in the middle. And I'll just use these when I need them. So I've added little carabiners, and I'll just pop them on. I'll carry them in the pack if I'm expecting higher winds. The vents seem to have moved. I'm sure, or I'm pretty sure on older versions, the vent was kind of across here. It seems I've now moved them out the way to here with a little prop vent underneath. This is another area I'd like to see modified, and that is, you can put your hand straight through the vent, and for the same reason, as I found out the other night, midges can come and go in and out of there as well. So this would be really nice if this was bug mesh covered inside. Although you can close it with Velcro, um, yeah, when you want to actually use them, which is probably the kind of still conditions when you need the airflow, but that's also when the midges are at their worst. Let's jump inside. <laughs> Nice waterproof zips. I'm not sure if these were always magnetic, but the little mag clip seems to work quite well. I'm not totally convinced about how well it will stay on in high winds, but that's to be seen. So the first thing I noticed actually when I was trying to get the hang of this tent the other night was there is a little hand, a little strap and a little cord to put around your walking pole. It was way too short as it was tied from the factory. But so I've untied it made it longer and just tied it at either end of the webbing. And now I can get my walking pole in quite easily. It looks to me like uh, some of these tents are designed to be tipped downwards. And I think in this case, what happened was this inner is more suited to tip downwards. And so they make the loop a lot smaller because it's just the narrow end of your pole that goes in. The instructions on the X mid describe this as having to be handled down. So it's possibly a mismatch between the inner and the, the outer. Again, on the inner, which I only found latterly, is these little magnetic tabs. For a minute, I thought the other night that there was something missing on the tent and it hadn't been sewn in. But there's a tiny little magnet in this strap and it just clicks on and holds it very effectively. And also, when I first got in the other night, again, in a bit of a rush, I didn't realise you could pin the inner, attach it little by the mitten hook to the fly sheet to give you a bit more space. Same on this side, just here. 
And also what I've done is it doesn't come with a washing line inside, which is a bit of a shame. So I've had to cut some cord and I've tied it into the lantern come washing line hooks, or loops I should say. Uh, that just And this travels right across the ridge line and will allow me to dry out my stuff. Do you like the pockets up the top though? That's great. I used them the other night and that's ideal for your headlamp as well. Great tent so far, I have to say. I do like it and I enjoyed using it the other night. But so far it's a 9 out of 10 and the 10% for me is this inner and the inner width and specifically. I find it a bit too claustrophobic and a bit narrow. Claustrophobic is maybe a strong word to use, but it's just slightly narrow. I could really do with an extra six inches on either side. And actually looking at the geometry of the tent and how it works, I think it could be done. Dan, if you ever watch this, would you consider doing a comfort plus inner, whereby you add six inches to either side, and all you do is you just angle your poles out slightly. I don't think it will affect the strength of the tent in any way but it will transform the internal volume of it. As it stands, as far as I can see with all the Dustins, the X-Mids, there's so much space in this. The footprint is quite large, but so much of the space is taken over by porch space and storage space at the expense of the inner. You could gain the inner width and still have huge porches that are really easy to cook in and store in, and it would be absolutely fine. And I think that would be the 10 out of 10. So there you go, it's a very, very quick review, not really a review, but uh, just to show you my initial impressions of it, I'm very impressed. Well done, Dan Dustin, great thinking, great design. Uh, I think it needs a few tweaks, and the 10% that would really make it fantastic is widen that inner and reduce the porch space, um, but keep the overall footprint and everything else the same. So could this be supplied as an aftermarket inner? Maybe someone else could make one, which would be brilliant. Uh, maybe something like 3FUL, or maybe a a cottage industry manufacturer could come up with a custom inner for this because I know I would buy one. So thank you for watching. I'm going to head out again tomorrow, hopefully with a wee trek, and I'll use this tent as I intend to use it in the future, and I'll just get more, just get more familiar with it, and also hopefully get a bit more wind. The other night was totally still, so no need to even use the external guy lines at all. So I'd like to just see how it feels in wind and how noisy it is from a wind stability point of view. Because uh, a lot of the quality of sleep is how quiet a tent is, and not many people seem to talk about that. For me, that's very important. So thank you for watching. Any questions, drop me a line below. To be honest, you've probably seen a million reviews on this. You've probably had a lot of your questions answered already, and I'm very late to the party, but uh, impressed now that I'm here. Thanks for watching.